Crocker Park. This was a up and down first half. I think the main story is Elijah Moore is a star. We better hope he's healthy. Yeah. That kid is electric. That kid runs the offense more than what we think. Hopefully it's just a minor injury in the, in the injury tent because that kid can play. Really, really excited. My nerves are settled from Deshaun Watson. He did enough with that first drive. I'm okay there. Tony, let you take it from there. But that's my first impressions. We can, you know, they're down, but whatever. That was my impressions over the first half. Yeah. Uh, Deshaun, I mean, they didn't really let him throw downfield a whole lot. The couple throws he made, they were in timing. He was breaking the pressure really well. Uh, the biggest thing was Elijah Moore. Seeing him in that yeah. H-back in that Debo Samuel role, that was exciting. So really hope he's healthy because that's something, that's a whole other layer to this playbook that I think can take this offense to the next level. If we're really getting Elijah Moore to like have that attention for the defense coming out of the backfield, motioning him out to routes, I think that could be huge. So that was the biggest thing for me. Let's hope he's healthy. Anthony Schwartz needs to Schwartz go. Needs to- I agree. Brown's doing great. I Luke, I'm kind of with you. I'm worried, though. Elijah Moore, I did not realize until tonight, he's a huge part of this offense. Tony? Yeah, I think, I mean, if they really plan to have him in that kind of a role, I, first snap of the offense, seeing him in the backfield, I know he motioned out right away. We did give him a carry, though, and that's just like, we've never had something like that even in the Stefanski era. So to have a player who is so versatile like that, oh, that's that gets me excited, but then he gets hurt. A train. I would. This is not on Francona tonight. Nick Salen threw a meatball. A meatball, right at the middle. Could you put Klossy in the game? I guess. But you have many more games in the series. Um, but I'll tell you, tonight was about. Nick Salen can't throw meatballs down the middle of the plate. Uh, I'm excited. I think I knew and I heard and I saw him play at Ole Miss. Elijah Moore is really good. Yeah. I mean, he's. Really, really good. I'm also impressed with Emerson. Uh, Tony and I were talking about today here at Yard House. Emerson's very, very good. He's technically sound, and he really does play the position well. I agree. Thank God the Twins suck. Tony, what do you want to add about Emerson? Just really, he's actually better than Newsom. What I love he's about number two. Emerson is like, we got Ward. And Ward's, we've seen Ward hit. Everybody's seen those clips from him at Ohio State, but like... Emerson is that big physical corner that we just don't have. We saw him tonight. Four-yard catch, tackle right away. I love Denzel Ward, but he's not the kind of guy that's going to be catch-tackle. Martin Emerson, the fact that he can be a catch-tackle type of guy really just adds on because most of the time they're not getting open anyway. And if they are getting open, the fact that he can just bring him down right away, his support in the run game. I mean, he had that exact same play he had last year against the Jaguars. It got called back, but ripping the ball free, he is... To see that physicality at the cornerback position, that is fun to see. Uh, I think it's Ward and Emerson. Yeah. And by the way, thank you to the Yard House. Great fan, great uh, staff, good food, fun atmosphere. If you've never been out here, Yard House is a good sports bar. A lot of fun and good, easy, and you can bring kids. It's not like it's an all-adult place. It isn't Hooters. It's a good place. Uh, Deshaun Watson, I like Deshaun. Again, I was very nervous uh, King Hobo until tonight. Deshaun, he's my, he's my Tums yep. taking. Good to see these guys play well, and I got to keep it up. I agree with you, Luke, about that. Um, but that's the first impressions. Are good. It's halftime. I just like this kid, Elijah Moore. Hope he's healthy. Yeah. Really, really, really hope he's healthy. Zadaria Smith, too. How about that? Backed up into the end zone on that first defensive drive. Two pressures in the red zone caused, or in the end zone, caused the safety. He looked explosive. Him and Miles are going to be a problem this year. So Darius Smith's a real deal. By the way, Ogbo, we both said the same thing. Here's the thing about Ogbo. Passing situations, wonderful. Yeah. He is not known for his run defense. Hey, the new Mizzy, good to see you. He is not good on run defense. Yeah, he, I mean, he looked out of place a little bit tonight. I mean, I don't want to put too much merit into a preseason game. But, but that's what his stats say, right, Tony. Right. And, and by the way, it's exactly. proven to be true. Yeah, but he, it wasn't even that he got out-muscled, per se. He was just out of sorts. He seemed I, like he was just not in the right position, got in the wrong gap, got pushed out of the way. Don't get too excited about Adam Riggler. Don't get too excited about Zaire Mitchell. <laughs> it was nice. <laughs> Here's my one thing. Elijah Moore, I can't sell this enough. Elijah Moore is going to be a huge part of this offense. 
huge part of this. You guys might be win. You guys might win that division with Burrow's injury. Win. Yeah. Um, I think so. it's preseason game number two, Hobo. It's preseason game number two, but I appreciate your sentiments. Let's go back in. Second half coming up. Tony there. I'm Andy. Believeinland.com. Brewfest tomorrow. Brewfestwd.com. See you tomorrow. Nice job, Tony. Woo. That was nice. Yeah, it's nice.